the fuck is this music? <laughs> oh, never mind. There's piano now. All right. We got to pick words that they'll like. You think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Uh... I don't fucking know. I don't know. I mean, main thing is, okay, let's decide which which character to tailor our thing to then. Okay, who do we want to go for? Obviously, apparently we can't go for uh, the class president, club president, Jim Monica. Why can't we? I don't know, but she's not over here. I think whichever one we click, if that's a word that they like, they'll move up. Uh... I suspect. I don't know for sure. But that's just with them being over here, that's what I suspect. Okay. Anyway, so what do you think we should go for? Um, Who do we want to go for? Uh, the ch do we want to go the childhood friend route? Do we want to go with the Cindere? Or do we want to go with the, the look, quiet, sexy one? We we actually had a discussion about this recently. Did about we? what that's called. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Hold on. Dylan looked it up. It was like... Um, it was Dondere. Yeah, Dondere. <laughs> Except that that's... Typically the one with glasses. It doesn't matter. It's, that's the Don Dadder. Okay. It's like the want... bookish one, right? Yeah. Yeah, the bookish one. All right. Do we want the Sundere, the childhood friend, or the Don Dadder? Personally, I'm a fan of the Don Dere, but that's I just like a her. personal thing. All right. Uh... I mean, like, it, it, it's 100% the fantasy thing. That, that's basically yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. We can go for her. It doesn't... Ah! Uh, Alan! Sorry. What, what word do you think she'd like? Hmm. I'm leaning towards sensation. Yeah. Yeah, do... Yay! Yay! We selected right. Okay, now I pick another one. Uh, Probably fantasy. Yeah. Parfait. Philosophy. Fantasy or philosophy? Uh, so fantasy is one hundred percent for sure. What? What? Lies. Uh, adventure. Well, she did say horror too. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, I still, I still feel that adventure is the right choice here. I, I think that that might give us our childhood friend. Really? Yeah. Oh, this is. Infallible. 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 Tenacious. Uh, poof. That might be that hard will, as well. That will definitely be the childhood friend. Yeah. <clears throat> Variance? <clears throat> melody? Yeah. Melody sounds right. Oh, okay. Damn it. Massacre. She said she... Do you want to go for Massacre? Yes. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, that's right. She's currently into horror right now. So, so probably Contaminations or Unstable. I like Contaminations. A bit more horror-y. Yep. Yep. Jesus. What the fuck does this even mean? I don't actually know what effulgent means. Looking it up. Come on, Google. E F F U L G E N T. Uh, shining brightly, radiant, of a person or their expression, emanating joy or goodness. And probably not. Yeah. I don't know which one she would like of these ones then. Milk. Do you want to click milk? <laughs> sure. It's okay. Oh, oh wow. It's suicide. It's hidden fast. Uh, um... Suicide or anger would probably be for her. Or imagination. Imagination. I like that one better. Okay, do it. Where to go? Dark. Papa. Papa. Death dark graveyard. Death. Okay. A lot of dark ones here. Yeah. Uh, probably. Well, a lot of themes that go with horror is it really depends on the genre of horror. horror. Yeah. Like if you're talking about if you Lovecraft, then you're dealing with like graveyards and like darkness rather than explicitly death. Yeah. But if you're dealing with like you know other types of horror, it varies. Yeah, exactly. I definitely agree. Well, we should pick one. Vertigo. Vertigo. I mean, I was, I was my brain was on H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah, I just don't know if that'll get us hers. There's too many good choices. I know Dark Death and Graveyard probably will, which means that there's probably not a fourth one that'll give us her. Okay, so death. Do we want to go death or do I, we want to go? The thing is, is that like horror is about like anticipation and like the unknown. And I, stuff I know. Like that. I know. Alan, yeah. this is an anime dating sim. I don't think they've thought out horror that well. <laughs> All right, then I guess we go with whatever you think. Oh, so man. dark. It's kind of what I'm leaning. What? Oh, that's that's not what I was thinking at all. Well, lipstick horror. Yeah. Wrath. Wrath. Boop. <laughs> boop. Unrestrained? That, that maybe. I, I want to click boop just because boop. It's probably going to be one of them. Boop. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> Fear would yeah. be our little Dondere friend, probably. Vivid. Fear. Like, I, we're not consistent at all. We're just clicking. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go for something inconsistent. 
blanket. We, we have, can't say no to blanket. Yeah, we have to. We right? have to. Um. Extreme. Extreme. And entropy might work. Yeah, that was actually really good. Do you want to go with that one? Yeah. Cool. Raindrops, chocolate, jump, candy, swimsuit, defeat, existence, smile, landscape, unending. I'm guessing one of these two for her. I like unending. Cool. Inferno, sparkle, fireflies. Dazzle, Dazzle. bliss, music, frightening, sunny, insight, and mouse. Frightening. Frightening. Destiny, alone, universe, special, unrequited, sticky. Eternity and marriage, secret, Mowage. Mirage. Uh, Mowage is what brings us together today. <laughs> Okay, uh, what are we gonna do? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, alone. Alone? What? Aww. Poor Sayori! Uh. Forgive, heaven said, agonizing. Kawaii. Intellectual. Kawaii. Would probably be good for her. Yeah. Mm. Either agonizing or intellectual. And which would you rather do? I mean, we haven't been really shooting 10 for 10 for that horror, so I think intellectual is a good, op good option. Cool. Whistle, happiness, loud, charm, captive, beauty, love, pout, judgment, heart. Captive might work. I, think, I was just thinking I judgment. Know. Judgment probably would work better. Yeah. Yep. Misery, kitty. Kitty, anime. That'll get her. Vibrant, peace, despise. Doki Doki. <laughs> Man. Well, there has to be a reason why it's called Doki Doki. I don't know. What does that actually mean? Oh, it's referring to, like, your heartbeat. Oh. Yeah, Doki Doki is, like, the sound of your heartbeat. Okay. I mean, might as well. Let's go, that's what the game's about, right? Sure. We might end up with her and not her. It's yeah. fine. <clears throat> Party. Prayer. Skirt. Comfort. Silly. Amazing. Vanilla. Fun. Laugh. And lazy. Ugh. Those aren't really good ones here. I guess prayer? Tragedy. Tragedy. Mm -hmm. Or maybe misfortune, but tragedy is a bit more thematic and like... Oh. Oh. Well, I have no idea. I think we might have like equaled out... I'll, when, in post, I'll do like a counter how many times we got each of them. I'm glad to see. Uh, <coughs> God. Okay. Mm. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> I mean, oh, 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 oh. oh man, she's already really cagey, honestly. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. I'm... This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well. <laughs> gotta go deeper every every time. Well, I'm back in the literature club. We have to read it as like like a hard boiled detective. Well, I'm back in the literature club. <laughs> back in the literature club. <laughs> I was the last to come in. No, that's a little too. That's um, Batman. <laughs> I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Blanky. <laughs> I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you just plan to come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Dun, dun, dun! Masuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Masuki finds herself stuck between saying manga and manga. Yeah, I could see that. Manga is literature! <laughs> manga! Swiftly defeated, mm. Masuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, you guys. Like, he always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. S sorry, th that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And and almost set uh, and you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? <laughs> I might be a little... Oh, ah. don't, don't break the headphones, Alan! I leaned back too far. <laughs> I might be a little jealous. Oh, come. You and Blanky can become good friends, too. Uh, um... <laughs> so, sorry! Hmm? 
Dot, dot, dot. As usual, Siri seems oblivious to the weird situation he put me into. Oh, you, oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today too, you know. What, Sayori? Eh, uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. I think we might have won through with her. With, uh, Yuri. Yeah. What, what is it? <laughs> Never mind. Sawyer made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh man, that blush. Can't even see her eyes, it's so thick. How does that even happen? Oh, what do I do? I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey! Uh. <laughs> don't worry about it. <coughs> first of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So. Any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Oh, man. Is, is that so? Yeah! I, I won't make a big deal if you are if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. Oh dear. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. Hey, I just noticed that 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 bookcase is open in the back. It wasn't the before. cabinet? Oh, it wasn't last time? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it just looks like there are books in there so far. And we could, you know. <laughs> I unwittingly picked the best voice for her! Discuss it, <laughs> if you wanted. I like how there's like a long pause, and he's just like... <laughs> we could, you know, discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Hold on, hold on, that cute... Sexy! Yeah, just a place that was sexy. Yeah. Uh, she even picked out a book she thinks I'd li I'll like, despite me not reading much. Y Yuri, thank you! I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. <clears throat> I look forward to hearing what you think. I want to see what everyone's poems are. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuki is rummaging around in the closet. That's why the closet's Probably. open. Probably. Yeah, because they were talking about her manga collection being hitting in there. Yeah. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Oh, music change. Ah. Crap! I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. Dot dot dot. But that only makes her hide her face even deeper into her book. Go so sorry! <laughs> I, I was just spacing out. I muttered this. I sense I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. I was focused. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. God, that was bad. That made me really uncomfortable. <laughs> I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Ah, nervous sweat drop. <laughs> just I mean, just curious! Uh, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, aww. I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> There's something fair- I mean, oh, that's not- that's an internal monologue. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. Uh, I'll definitely start reading it soon! I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. 
It's a very engaging and relatable story. God. Is that so? What's it about, anyways? Well... I'm not doing that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. It's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. <clears throat> Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. Uh, it's hard to do a sexy voice for uh -huh. this. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her friend, her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That, that's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Blanky? God. <laughs> no, it's not that. I mean, I definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I totally forgot that she was into this. <laughs> yeah, dude, she, she's a freak. Run! Well, it's like... It's like, man, the only thing that I can relate it to is, like, you've had a long discussion with someone about, like, their taste before, and then you, like, get into bed with them and then, like, whip out the handcuffs <laughs> and, like, a fucking whip, and, and then it's like, that's when the, the smash cut, the freeze frame, and it's like, and this is when I remembered that she's absolutely into a DDSM. <laughs> like, it cuts back to, uh... And then the door closes and you just hear him scream, ah! Anyways, oh, man. she's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or even their own philosophy that they believe in. They suddenly, when you thought you were... Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I can't help but think that this is uh, foreshadowing. It's definitely foreshadowing. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. Uh, I'm sorry. C hey, come in. Hey, don't apologize. I, I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. Hey, we did get it, because like... It's going on for quite a while. Yeah. I wasn't sure at first, but now... Yeah, I wasn't sure at first either, but... It's pretty obvious. Yeah. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Hmm. I know that things like books and writings so fill my thoughts. Or fill my thoughts. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So sorry if I end up saying something strange. Please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't, don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. At, at, at least I can do is listen. The least I can do. No, oh dear. It's a literature club, after all. Ah. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. You were shaking your head. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nervous energy! I, I want to get to the horror! In fact... Give it to me! I might as well get started reading it, right? You you don't have to. Oh man, maybe I should add some sleeves in the blankie. What? Like you know sleeves. Yeah. Oh, I see. I, at first, I was I thought that there was like something that you were talking about where like it was a sleeve but plural, and I'm like, what's a sleeve? <laughs> at first, I interpreted it as like C's, and I'm like, what? what the fuck do you mean like the letter C? Do you want to just go like, aha hack? What are you saying? <laughs> And I just like random C's at different points. <laughs> what are you saying? J just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Oh. You see what I mean by adding a little bit more space? Oh squeeze? man, now I, now I feel uncomfortable playing this character. <laughs> uh, let me just get the book. 
I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah. Oh, I thought that was supposed to be surprising, like, ah! I, I don't think it's necessarily like, ah! It's more like, ah! Oh. Like, ah! Uh, just vaguely surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in the company of someone. Is it like a I, sex I thing see. for her? Maybe, I don't know. She's, I, she says things really weirdly. <laughs> like I, it, I suppose the voice doesn't help. Yeah. Where we're assuming that we're sexualizing everything from her. <laughs> Which feels like a bastardization of her character, but at this point it's too late to go back. It's too late. We did this for ourselves. I just did it because of her boobs. I'm sorry. I, I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or something. God, with that voice. Right. Man. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence, mm -hmm. over, presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not... A particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eyes. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book <laughs> instead. Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> what? Are you going deep now? Oh yeah, one break more. There. This should work, right? Oh man. I slide my desk until it's up against you. I think that's the moment I chose to make his voice deeper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I slide my desk up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the Two, between the two of them. I think it's supposed to say two of us. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> ah. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a bit, a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Oh. It feels like, oh man, the sexual tension. This high school... High school sexual tension. High school sexual tension is just so thick. It man. feels like my left arm is, uh, is in a way... Like, in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Oh. Ah! Uh, I guess that I thought you deepened his voice. Oh, I thought that was more of like... I don't care. Oh, I, I like, yeah, I like the old voice though. It, makes, okay. it adds comedy. Yeah, you're right. Ah! Uh, I, I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Whoa! Got a cool new shot. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. See, uh, and this is what the right click is for, so now we can see the full thing. Oh, man. So we can appreciate the art. No, right? Ah! Uh, I do the same with my right arm and hold the right side of the book. <clears throat> that way I turn, I turn a page, Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But holding it like this, we huddle it closer together than before. Oh, man. And it's actually kind of distracting me. <gasps> oh no, the sexual tension! Oh man. That was like the worst time to yawn. <laughs> it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face. And she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Are you ready? There we uh, go. Eh? To turn the page. Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. Dead eye. Oh man. I don't know I'll I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? Now oh, she's smiling. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. God damn it. <laughs> it's probably the least I can do. <laughs> Since you've been so patient with me. God damn it. It's our own fault that we made it this we way. We dug this hole. Now we have to get in. We, we, to... we dug this. We made our bed. Now we have to lie in it. Thanks. 
We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri? This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like, she's afraid she'll do something wrong. But it's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. I said that, was that like a backhanded compliment? Maybe. <clears throat> Yuri remains silent for a moment. But, Blanky, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her! Yeah, it was a backhanded compliment! Yup! It's so embarrassing that you think that. Oh, oh wait, I, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. S sorry, I... <laughs> oh, man. I really don't know... Uh, you She's were... See? Slightly upturned pixel. Anyways. <laughs> it's that one pixel. It's one pixel! Pixels matter! If speedruns have taught me anything! <laughs> Sorry, I, I really don't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I, I guess I more meant it's kind of cute. Uh -huh. Why are you what are you saying all of a sudden? Oh dear. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Okay, everyone! No. <laughs> I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhaled and spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? <clears throat> you look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. It's not too... It's fine. Yuri released her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Uh-oh. I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Uh, in that case, I'll read more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up, picks up a bit, you know? Okay, anyways. That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right! I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my back. By the way, uh, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My, relax uh, my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't we find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastic pull out their poems. Sayori is <clears throat> on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf paper torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition book. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Nasuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Scene Hi. transition! 